Hey, what's up guys, Mods here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download texture packs and put them onto your Minecraft so you can use them. So, what you want to do, you want to open up your internet, and you need WinRAR or 7-Zip, so I'll leave them in the link in the description for you, so head down to the description and download them before you start this. But most of you should have it, and well it should because it's an essential uh, programming, it's really handy and it just compacts all your files etc. But it's really handy to do, so if you don't already have it, download it now for this video, if not, if you do have it, well done. Um, first of all you want to go to and download a texture pack wherever you want, so if you've seen a texture pack, download it etc. Or I'll give you a few sites in the description where you can download one from. Uh, but today I'm going to be using Minecraft texture packs, texturepacks.com. And I'll leave this one in the description for you to use, but you can use all different website, uh, ugh, all different sites where you can get your texture packs from, and I'll leave all different ones in the description for you to go around looking. But just write in Minecraft texture packs into Google, and it will come up with all different sites where you can get one from. So the texture pack I'm going to be using today is going to be using John Smith, as I would be using Dark. Uh, ugh, I've forgotten what it's called now. I was going to tell you in a minute, but um. But I've already got it installed and I'm not going to uninstall it and install it again for this video. So I do like John Smith, so I'm going to use this one for this tutorial. So basically, click on one you want and on this website, you scroll down and you've got the download button. Uh, I've already downloaded it and it's downloaded already, but you just click it and I'll show you it and it just download. So once you've downloaded, you just want to open it up and it opens up in Minecraft, in oh, Winra. So this is it, this is all everything inside it, etc. And you can change stuff, but I was gonna leave out it is. So basically what you want to do now, you want to go to Minecraft, so open up Minecraft. I'll run it. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, just wait for it up. And it's exactly the same for every single version of Minecraft you got. You should have 1.5.2, which is the latest, but if you can't update it, it's still exactly the same. But yeah. So then you want to head over to options. You click on texture pack and that's it sorry not dark it's dooku craft i'm using and i love this texture pack to pieces i will leave this link in the description and if any of you don't have it and never used it i'd head over and use this one i do love it the best but any any texture pack for you like is good enough but um, let's go ahead back to the tutorial what you want to do you want to click on texture pack then it opens up like this so i've only got dooku craft texture pack in here but um, obviously you have nothing if you ain't already got a texture pack, but if you do, you have more. And if you do, I don't know why you're watching this tutorial, unless you forgot, honestly. So give you credit for that. Uh, then you want to find where you've downloaded your file from. So I'm just going to drag mine from the internet because it's down here and I can just drag it with Google Chrome. So you just want to drag it into this folder. And as you see, it's just going. And it's as simple as that. Just close out of it. Go back on. And it's already here. So once you click on it it should load up and it takes a couple of seconds for mine and there you go John Smith is a really nice and neat texture pack I'd recommend it to anyone but yeah it's up to you whatever you want um, there's different things you might need the um, patch blocker thing oh, I forgot what it's called but uh, that's for another video not today you can search on YouTube I'll leave a link in the description how to do that but if you have Optifine it will already be your like texture pack will already be patched sort of thing so basically when you go into a world I won't show you because I've got up to find but um, the water might say patch um, or have writing in the water and that's because it hasn't been patched and um, that's for a different video I'll be coming soon but if you have Optifine which you should do it's really good handy for FPS I've got a link in the description how to do it I've already done a video on that it basically gives you better frames per second so you've got less lag on Minecraft and it already patches it for you so yeah guys, thanks for watching, a really quick uh, tutorial on how to do texture packs in Minecraft. Hope you like, please comment, rate and subscribe guys, Gecko out. Thanks for watching.